<laughs> Woo! All right, what's going on, guys? We'll get this. Uh, we we'll, we we'll get things going on back here. So, oh, sorry about that, man. I uh, I don't know. Sure, wait. We changed the setting up, and then I went live, and then it didn't like that setting, so I had to revert it back to what I um what I had before. So yeah, call it call it my bad. But anyway, it's uh, good to see everybody, man. It has been it has been a long time. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I haven't enjoyed the break. It's been good, um, and uh, still working through schedule and some other stuff like that, man. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, man, Montana came up. I was like, man, I got to make some time out for this. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. I think you will, man. This is um, uh, Montana is really good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty hard on SES. I'm not. You know, you guys know that, man. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the beard. The beard is there, man. It's taking me a little bit to get it there, but I had to figure out how to trim it, man. I keep screwing myself over. Anyway, all right, let's throw some big shout-outs, man. Some good guys here in chat. So, uh, Mark, what's up, man? Glenn, P. McClanahan, what's up, man? Peter McLeod, good to see you guys, man. Uh, Zale, what's up? Rich, Winslow Alpha Gaming, uh, Zach Hall, what's up, man? Jonathan Gilbert, hello. Uh, what's up, White Bear? Mr. Ace of Spades, good to see you guys. Patrick D. as well. Uh, let's just scroll on here at the bottom there. Sir Kales, what's up, man? <laughs> Charleston Nelson. <laughs> oh, silly man, silly. <laughs> good to see you, buddy. It's good. It's good. Good to be on the first wave. I was gonna say, man, it's kind of there, man. So, what's up, Freightliner fan? How are you, man? Thank you there for uh, 18 months there on first gear. Appreciate that, brother. There it is, man. Uh, and also there, thank you there to Mickey Mouse. Appreciate it. Mr. Swede in the house, man. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate you, buddy. I uh, saw Ghost Trucker as well, man. Glad you're back. Glad you're uh, in as well, man. Good to see you there, bud. Uh, big supporter here of the channel as well. Big Jim Triple Deuces as well. Island Crawler, man. You guys are uh, have some big longtime members there as well. So thank you guys for coming back for a uh, another live stream for America Trucks. Yeah. What's up, Black Sacks? Good to see you, man. Jason as well. Vander Wharf, what's up? Uh, Montana is actually like Washington, like Colorado, like Wyoming, but it's its its own thing, and it's good. Like, it's just hands down good. I like I can be the hardest on SES, but more on that. We'll, we'll get to that, so. <laughs> yeah, man, get on this out of the floor. I know, man. It's good, man. It's good, so. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, simp the, the music down and stuff. Joe, John Hawthorne, what's up, man? First gear member. What's up, man? What's up, Mickey Mouse? Thank you there for the buck, man. Appreciate it. Jay, what's up, Jay? Uh, I hear you, man. You find a motivation? Ah, dude, I get it, man. Kirk, what's up, man? Cecil, good to see you, man. I'm the same way, man. I'm the same way. Indie game, good to see you there, Scott. What's up, man? Bert Dirty, you're here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Where is, where is, uh, it, what, what, what's up, uh, Bike Man? Where is, is he still, is he still around? Seabad, what's up, buddy? Saw your name flash through there, man. Good to see you there. A 13 month streak there from Mr. Located. Three Island Crawler there coming back 26 months. Appreciate you guys, man. Sid Famous, what's up, man? We well, think Texas is going to be really stout. I, I don't know. I'd probably say at least six, eight months. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be in time soon. Let's see. Let me put my chat over here. My camera. I got my camera now. I got this nice little apparatus to pull it around, but now it's like right in the way of chat. So it's kind of aggravating. I'm not going to lie. So I might I might have to figure out where to where to put this thing. Maybe, maybe we'll do it there. Lyric of 300. Appreciate the two bucks, man. Hey, whoa. Mr. Ghost Trucker rolling in here. Did it, did it shout up? Did it shout up that on the giveaways? I hope it did. Thank you there, Ghost Trucker. Uh, 60 there 50 bucks for giveaways well um so this releases the fourth right so august 4th which is monday right is august 4th monday i think so today's the 30th yes no the fourth is thursday wow i thought it was early okay so the fourth is thursday so um don't let me forget which i know we won't um i will go ahead and we'll uh, throw us up a couple of dlc's so whenever this thing releases uh here up on the fourth and we'll give away a couple of copies of montana so yeah thank you man appreciate that always man <laughs> so we'll be done <laughs> aaron what's going on cash king good to see you man uh, space as well. The map is great, man. You guys are going to enjoy it. Thank you there for the $2 tap, the tip there, Mr. Lyric. Uh, <laughs> you passed early Montana DLC early. <laughs> Charlotte Native Sports and Trains. What's up, man? Kirk as well. Good to see you, man. Ace Driver. Uh, man, it is, uh, it's good to see a lot of familiar names, man. I, I have missed a few of y'all. 
some of y'all I have not missed. I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, on a realistic note, man, I just wanted to let you guys know here before we get cranked up in this, uh, it has been a, a little bit of a hectic season just in my IRL, just in life in general has been really busy, um, and I've just ran out of hours in the day to stream. Um, and I've had to go to bed earlier, <laughs> couldn't c keep the hours, um, much less kind of keep ups. Uh, community and all the other things that's going on. So uh, it's nowhere near, uh, you know, goodbye. So don't, don't even read into that. Uh, it's just been a hectic time of year. Um, I actually thought I was going out in business for myself. And then that kind of carpet got yanked out from under me. So that was something I was working till. And then phew, something flew out and uh, the owner sold her business uh, out from underneath me. So that wasn't fun. Um, but nonetheless, that's where I thought I was going. And then that ha happened to not, you know, work out and then like three or four days later i get a email from scs <laughs> saying hey you want the uh you want the dlc on the first one i was like oh yeah sure let's get that first wave action in so you know i mean things work out in mysterious ways man it's kind of crazy so <laughs> box 97 thanks for subbing chris as well thank you guys for y'all subs um so yeah it's, it's been it's been crazy it's been it's been a, a very very busy and hectic three or four months uh but it's been a good break too i've uh i've been able to just re kind of connect with some new uh you know things and play some stuff that i wanted to play and some of it's just actually been away from the computer at you know all together so it's um it's kind of been like you know just just i'm just been out i didn't been playing that much but at least what i have done keep the trucks updated um some really good stuff to show you and we're going to start that right now here with some montana so ace of spades thank you there for the three as well lyric 300 got your first job at six flags well there you go man congrats on the first job the first job of many and now you know what the real world's like <laughs> <laughs> all right so here's what i'm gonna do i want to try to give you a little bit of a synopsis of the map obviously you guys are already seeing the map what we got here um it is a very big map um you know it is um very comparable to what we saw in wyoming um but i would say it's really a wyoming and idaho kind of almost put together if you were able to just kind of chop the north part of idaho off up through grangeville and all this up stuff um we essentially have that much road doubled in so it's a kind of a two state in one because it does cover the same you know mileage as, as what idaho plus wyoming have um i've been dev consoling over this thing basically all day and it's just it's good it's very much like wyoming um your eastern i mean your um Eastern section is very kind of flat, gets into the Plainlands because you're fixing to get into the Dakotas, um, which I can tell you there's nothing exciting through Nebraska and the Dakotas, at least road-wise. So it's going to be kind of flat, very, um, you know, open, open, kind of open hill. The thing that's really good about this, and they do, a, I think, better job than they did in Wyoming of making the um, the map feel expansive. So uh, you do get the scenery, you do get the, the mountings, you get all the stuff in there that's kind of in the background. But it's really, really, really large, and it feels like a really big map. And that's something that we really haven't had in some of these other maps, um, but especially over here. I'm going to do a video. We're not going to take you up through the North Port of Sandpoint in the Cali Spell, but that is going to come in tomorrow's video because I'm going to put a video up there. They have uh, done a really fantastic job uh, of one of the Glacier National Parks up there, and it is a fantastic ride. And it's kind of the first time that SES has really done, like, a true, like, crazy kind of map, you know, deal where it's like you've got, you know, nothing but cliff down below you and you've kind of the big old huge rock faces. Uh, but it looks just like the pictures on Google, so it's really awesome to see all that. So, anyway, that's what we got coming in tomorrow's video, so make sure you guys check that out as well. Um, right now, we're in Thompson Falls, which is still going to kind of capture some of the eastern part. I mean, sorry, some of the western part. And we're going to drive down into uh, Missoula and Butte, and then we're going to head up into Great Falls and just kind of take you through some of this. And then you guys can choose anywhere else but the Glacier National Park. You guys can choose wherever else you want to ride. We'll see if we can't take a, uh, take a trip somewhere. I'm going to keep this video a little bit short. Uh, and then kind of do some chapter marks so guys may be watching in the, in the near future, maybe tomorrow and something. Maybe they'll have to watch this little intro in there, okay? So just going to kind of throw that out there, and we'll see we'll see where we get to tonight. So uh, good CC pain, man. Always. Zach, yes, feel free to ask anything, man. I will uh, Once we get driving, I will certainly be trying to keep up with chat some, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. So we are, and by the way, we're all default today. I know it's like, oh, my God. 
But, yes, we at least try to make it, you know, somewhat. I've not hauled heavy haul even before uh, in, like, forever. So we're at least doing some heavy stuff. Uh, we've got the Volvo pack in here, which is an add-on, and then we just built us up a little trailer for us to have. Um, so we're officially kind of in a halfway oversized load with 8 by 6 drop axle. Uh, we're in the K-Dub. It's all default, default sounds, default everything. So when you're like, oh, my God, that sounds awful, I know. But we got to do no mods, especially for the early release. That way that everybody that's watching this actually see a true representation of the map and not all of the extra mods flavored in on top that gives you a misrepresentation of what it is. So I also am required to tell you guys it's still a work in progress map since it is not released. There still could be bugs and still could be some things that will be fixed on this map before the release. So if you do see anything... Uh, maybe even just let me know, and I'll maybe mark it, and I'll come back and I'll shoot them a report. So anyway, are we are we ready? I think we're ready. Nice to see me rocking a Kenworth. I usually am always rocking a Kenworth, to be honest with you. I usually never am not in that. So <laughs> drop a gear, disagree. All right, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna see how we're gonna do this here. I'm gonna have to move my chat. I can't I can't do that with y'all there. That's not going. Cool. That's not going to be good. Slime Jerry, what's up, buddy? Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, it is the best sound in SES one. It sounds like it's gotten a little bit of a balance, though. It sounds like the. Uh, well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe maybe it hasn't gotten anything. I <laughs> that gas. I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, we'll see what our audio levels are. I might have to bring these suckers down. Barbadale, 88, what's up? Yeah, I am in, I, yeah, I am in Peterbilt's a lot, too. Fair enough, man. I do still know how to drive. No, I don't. All right. So we're in Thompson, uh, Thompson Falls. Which is a new one right on the uh, on the western side. So this is right in the middle of the map. So we're kind of going to cut through the middle of it. Then I'll show you the good stuff in the uh, video tomorrow night. I also do some of this view as well, just so you guys can kind of see roof side and that. So <laughs> oh gosh. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. At least on stream. And then we don't even have our, um, we don't even have our, um, our whatchamacallits, our, so you'll hear every time we grind the gear, so do we get, what's up, Cameron? We've been busy, brother. Really busy. <laughs> Oh man, it's good. Good to uh, automatically come in, man. So here, while we're at it, let's do this. Let's do this real quick. I'll do some dev consoling. One cool thing that you guys will notice really quick when you get on here is like all of the the new log logging stuff. There's a ton of logging, and there's a few mining hidden roads and stuff in here. But this is just one of the easy ones here outside of Thompson Falls, but there are a ton of these that are absolutely fantastic. So if you like logging and you wanted some more and you wanted maybe Montana to feature a little bit more of that, it actually does and features a huge bit of it. So whenever we get close to those, I'll uh, I'll def console out and let you. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow, speeder 400. What? Oh my gosh, man. Speeder, 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 man. Holy crap, man. Wow. That gum. What a welcome back, man. That is I don't even I don't even know what to I don't even know what to say to that, man. Man, speeder, it's uh appreciate you, buddy. Thank you there, C Pain, man. 32 months as well, man. That gum, man. Thank you there, Speeder. Appreciate it, man. Speeder's always been a big supporter of the channel, man, and I always kind of sometimes wonder, you know, when you guys maybe run out and it's like you don't even know what to say, man. It's like thanks just doesn't like it. It doesn't. It doesn't do it justice, man. Doesn't do it justice. Appreciate it, buddy. That's right, man. Hashtag speeder. Absolutely. 
We're gonna need a word, Dow. <laughs> That's what we're gonna need. Freedom Sport, thank you, man. <laughs> no traffic in Montana. You know, I don't know if I have traffic on or not. To be quite honest with you, we may have uh, we may have silenced that. I can just so we could dev around earlier for my video. Hey, Ryan, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, man. I've had a couple of month break, man. It's been actually really nice. I've been busy on the other side, though, but it's been nice, man. Hope you're doing well, buddy. It feels like forever, though. It's only been a couple of months, but I'm like, man. I come back through and all the stuff I had to update, I was like, good gosh, man. <laughs> I was like, I think I was behind two versions in ATS. I think last time I left it, it was in 143. <laughs> was like, wow, this has got to be a big thing. This is a long time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does make it feel like it was MP. Yeah, that's even worse. Yeah, here, if, if it really bothers y'all, we can, let's turn traffic on. Mm. I, I mean, I thought I had it on. We'll see if it shows up. If it doesn't show up now, then it's not in this area. Yeah, 145, Ace. They're on 145, really. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy, man. Like, dang. All right, so we're basically kind of riding southeast, and then we're going to kind of be heading back up northeast. So we're going to kind of do a little flying V around here. Man, yeah, there we go. There's a little bit of traffic. Rez plays. What's up, man? Mr. Fab, how are you? Night Rider, what's up? Good to see you, man. Alabama as well. Yeah, we, uh, well, I have to do everything stock for SES. So once we ever we do these early access releases, we all have to do just them and no mods. Um, and that and that way it just kind of, it makes sure that anybody that might be watching that might want to purchase it wouldn't be swayed by a modification that I have that they're going to need to make the map look the way that it should. Does that make sense? So, and that, that way it just kind of, it just kind of helps even out the playing field when it comes to all these things. That way, people don't download it and then get super salty that, you know, something's going on. So, way, Papa Rocks, what's up, man? Dang, come, woo. I don't, everything is well. Everything has gotten extremely better tonight. Uh, I was already excited to do a little Montana because I actually think the map is really good. Um, you know, sometimes you get into these deals where it's like, yeah, it's kind of not. But, you know, after Speeder, yours, and all the resubs and stuff, man, thank you guys, man. Big, big donor there from Papa Rock. So always a big support of the channel as well, man. So thank you, man. That is uh, that is awesome. <laughs> Who'd I bribe? Diesel, I don't know, man. You know, last time I got shafted. I'm not going to lie. That one hurt. That one stung. That one burned. But, you know, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know exactly what was the uh, you know culprit of some things like that. I just you know kind of rolled with it. I've always given really honest opinions on 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 uh, SCS because I've always believed that it could be something really 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 good, um, and could be more than just your average kind of small time developer game that kind of makes you know makes a little bit of an inroad. You know, I mean it's it's um, it's definitely something. At least for these guys, I mean, I feel like they've gotten to the point now where they can really go above and beyond with this, with the, uh, with it now. So, all right, man, Husky Cruise Control member, appreciate it, man. That's their top tier two level, man. And Mr. Fabsty, what's up, man? With the twenty super chat, appreciate you guys, man. Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoy the stream, man. Hope you guys enjoy Montana. I surely do. I think you will enjoy it. I think you will in uh, will actually. Uh, not just because it's new road, but actually it is actually feels like some new mapping, which is great. So we've kind of been in this Colorado, Wyoming. It's kind of a little bit of a continuation, but it's still nonetheless, it is, um, yeah, it's what we got. So thank you guys all for y'all's resubs and for the money, man. It's, uh, it's very helpful, and I certainly do appreciate y'all uh, very much for that. So thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. I don't know what else to do besides give you a heck of a stream. So here we go. All right. So we have gotten some new uh, truck stops. So that, I, don't know, I don't know if it really applies. I don't know if you all really care. But anyway, very BP-ish looking here. Uh, Gallon Oil's got one. 
There's another one that looks like not Flying J's. What's the other one? Uh, it's driver something. But anyway, so we got some new little uh, uh, actually uh, their truck stops and stuff looks actually pretty good. So I don't know if you're really into that thing. There, um, the good thing about these, especially for convoys, there's the other one. Phoenix, that's what they call it. So Phoenix. So that was a new one. Uh, you can tell you about tell when they uh, actually did this. Gas was pretty pricey. We actually have a new um, uh, large, 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 large um, new stations that we can load up for convoys. So that'll be kind of nice. We, we always have small ones, um, and ever since they really did Washington, they brought in the big ones. So it's nice, man. Yeah, it's kind of like gloves. So you'll you'll uh, especially if that's a, if that's your your jam and you like that that'll be a nice part of the map. So <laughs> are we trucking IRL? It's hard, to, Husky. I can imagine, man. It's hard to get into trucking if you're already like actually doing the IRL. More power to you guys that actually do that, and you know it's kind of tough, man. Yeah, Sinclair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to say the other one, they've got like four different, three or four different ones that are modeled. And one of them actually, they, they kind of take the colors off of some of the other ones. So that's probably, there's another one in there and I can't remember the name of it. But it, because if I'm not mistaken, see Claire's got like the, it's kind of like the old, not mobile one, but it's kind of got like a grayish blue and a red uh, trim and silver. Maybe, if that's the colors I'm thinking about. But. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll do this one up here to Great Falls, and then wherever you guys want to go, wherever you guys want to see after that, then we'll uh, we'll dev on over, and we'll see if we can't pick us up a load. Hey, Chris Trimble, thank you, man. Appreciate it. And so uh, it's good to be back. Uh, I will say honestly, it's just kind of good to be back on the stream regardless of what I'm playing I do miss it man I miss talking to everybody and nice kind words man you guys have been very supportive of me as well over the past couple of months while we've been in a little bit of a hiatus and a, just kind of a break away from just everything digital um, allow me to you know work on some other things so I appreciate y'all's uh, very kind messages and um, just uh, you know sticking around hanging out Hey, modern day, we're good, man. We are good. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, roll film. Yeah, we still we still sporting the for stomping hat, man. We're still there. <laughs> Darren, I explained it actually all just a minute ago. <laughs> I don't think it was four months. I think it was three. Thought we got quiet, didn't it? got super quiet <laughs> all right so here we go here's um once we get around this safe so here's one thing that i do like about this they've got a they've got more than more than probably five or six of these roads actually follow little rivers and little creeks and each one's labeled so every time you go over the bridge there's a new bridge and it goes over an actual body of water or a stream or uh something in there i just i think some of that stuff is really 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 cool um, <clears throat> one of the things probably a lot of guys will look at this and say, is it like Wyoming? Is it like Montana? I mean, is it like uh, Colorado? There are pieces of it that's like Colorado, um, but I don't really know that it's really comparable to, to Colorado. Um, I would say the north side of Colorado and the south side of Wyoming is really cool. Um, if you like coming up out of the central part of Idaho into uh, Montana, it's a really cool drive. Same way if you're coming up through Utah into Colorado in there. Like, you can ride the 93 now all the way up, uh, which that is a fantastic. I def that little route and stuff. That is a crazy, crazy good one. Um, and uh, I think we'll actually be on a piece of that. So we're on the 90 now, so we're going kind of interstate hop here. So one of the 90, then 115, and then up the 15 north. So so we'll, uh, we'll, at least, uh, we'll at least flop a few here. So, hey, Aaron, what's up? <laughs> well, we, I kind of had to stop streaming. I didn't have any more hours. I didn't have more hours in the day. This wasn't my. Uh, this wasn't my my real. Uh, this wasn't my 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 real IRL job all the time. So 
I, I would love to be able to do this full time, but not yet. So DVD reduce would it be a chant map? Um, it depends. I, it really depends. Um, chant map, I would say comparable to yes. Um, it the only thing that that kind of kicks Montana, and this is really only as a preference thing, and it and it's I don't really care either way. Um, is whether or not you like or dislike that kind of flat Wyoming kind of drive. Um, I would say the. It's very, very nice in Montana, uh, but it's very obvious whenever you get to the east side. It just, it just gets real flat real quick. And then it's kind of like, oh boy. <laughs> so if you don't like, if you don't like that aspect of it, then that part may be like the thing that kicks it. Because Colorado really only has that one little sliver uh, that, that is like kind of meh. It's got a lot of straight roads and it doesn't really do much. There's still a lot to see in Montana. They've done a really good job of filling up the map. It's huge. And it's a lot. I'm not sure what the resale price on this is going to be, but, um, yeah, I would, I would look for this one to definitely be 14 or unless they haven't already put it on their Steam page yet. So, <clears throat> Hey, what's up, Nuggies? How are you, man? Good to see you, man. <laughs> That's real geography. This here for the ride. All right, man. Good to see you, man. Andrew M. Uh, Steep roads. So, yes. Uh, so, it does have a little bit. Um, the north side and the south side is actually really good. And one of them you're going to see tomorrow night. We're going to we're going kind of drive and do a little uh, something to, uh, for a video for you guys tomorrow. I'm going to work on that after we get on the stream today. Uh, eleven ninety nine. I don't know, man. That if it's eleven ninety nine, it's a steal, like an absolute steal. All right, so we're fixing to head on in here to Butte. Now the cities in Montana are a little different. Um, we've basically gone through most of it, and you kind of feel like you just kind of. I feel like there's like this service road mentality to this. Um, and by that, I mean like, oops, I get the mirrors off there. So I feel like whenever you go through these, you, you have these service roads and then maybe one or two main strip, just, just a main drive. And there's a lot of interstate activity. So the interchanges on the interstates are usually pretty heavy in every city. So at least more than two or three interstates uh, interchange between each one. Which does kind of give you that whole, like, it makes it feel, uh, I think, a little more legitimate. Uh, so that's how the roads are here. See, that's the Jake break. It's super quiet. I think they've rebalanced some things. So weird. Anyway. Uh, I think we actually we actually snuck through Missoula, but we were on the interstate. No, I, I don't think anything's gonna be forty. Uh, I, I would think Texas, to be in the size, I would say uh, twenty-four would be the most, maybe nineteen. I mean, they I think some ETS maps have had that. I think they've been around in that neighborhood, so very well could be. <laughs> yeah, Mikey. Yeah, I know it's flat now. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, and, and it's still, man. It's not. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Try to got mining over here on the left. If you guys can see that. So if it's pretty heavily in the heavy machinery and mining and stuff, you can find a a Namek, uh mine over there. I think there's one on the other side of the map as well. So, well, yeah. Island, yeah, I know. I own the new ones, but this is old K Dubs. I figured you at least gotta be able to hear this one. It's not it's not terrible. I mean I know it ain't great, but it's not terrible. <laughs> Unless you're blind <laughs> Shay. 
Well, yeah, yeah, we're trying. I like to do it because I, you know, using track IR, I feel like it's the way it would be for me anyway. Yeah, the Berkeley pit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. They haven't charged. Uh, is it? Uh, did they charge? Uh, I thought they charged 17 or 18 for some of those Euro ones that were bigger. They might have brought them down in price. I want to say there was a couple of them they had for 17, but I might, I might be wrong on that for Euro truck. Well, DVD, this one actually, I kind of, you know, Wyoming was a little weird. I, I, I don't know if it, maybe I was just a little extra salty for Wyoming, but, but honestly, um, I never really, um, I never really thought Wyoming was that much from Colorado on the south side, but I did think he got a lot different on the north side. That's where you kind of started feeling like that map first fully changed. This one feels like it as soon as you cross from Idaho over. Like you can just tell they just they didn't do a lot of copy paste, Mike. It's not. And the one thing that I've always felt like we missed from SES maps is the elevation change. Um, everything, the roads are fine. They go left and right just fine. But they always felt like they were in a, a valley. And they always felt like um, there, there wasn't wide enough. Like you're riding through Montana. You should be able to see stuff besides just the bank beside you. And then you also should feel like you're going up and down. Even if it's just rolling hills, you should still feel elevation change in the map. And I felt like Wyoming was like dead for me for that, um, and I might have a different as uh, you know a different thought about it if I go down. Now I know the north side of that was really good, but I felt like everything else was just it just didn't have that for me. I mean, maybe I feel differently going back through it now that I've got another state to compare it to. But they do a really good job in Montana of doing that. So, hey Merck, what's up, man? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. 35 months first gear. Thank you, bud. Appreciate that. Make sure we're not going to go about 100 miles left. And then you guys be thinking about where we'll go. We can go wherever you want to go. Thank you there, Chris. Live in Missoula. Stop on by. All right, Chris. We'll, uh, I'll, I actually went through Missoula, but we'll dev console back, and I'll kind of show you us a little bird's eye view. Because we've kind of just been cruising interstate-wise on this just to give you a little bit, but we'll uh, – we can we can pull through a couple of places and go through a couple different places on the map. You guys can just let me know. Uh, I did, Mark. I did. Luckily, that was not that was not me. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't I don't ever open the stuff from YouTube when I get it in my email because typically that's where you get that's where you get uh, you channel jacked. Man, it's so quiet. Uh, we won't do any old trucks. Uh, so we're no mods tonight, Jacob. So everything will be stock SES stuff. Uh, I figure we'll, we'll carry another another load with this. I plan on doing a two load tonight. I don't want to go too long because um, I've got another video I want to pump out tomorrow so you guys can have a uh, totally different content drop tomorrow, and uh, and we'll see what we can do. I know tomorrow night I'll be away, and, um, and then maybe Monday uh, we can maybe hit up another area if you guys want to see that. So we can we can spend a little time just kind of showcasing a few of the little different areas in here, man. It's really 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 good. I actually um, when I first started, I was trying to think. I think I came over from. I'm trying to think I came up north from Wyoming and I came into it and I was like meh and I was on the east side of the state and uh, I thought well that's okay man 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 and then I went over from Salmon uh, Idaho and then went up north and then that's when I was like oh heck <laughs> oh, snap I think things got pretty good around here so then I started uh, getting through some of those areas after that and then started looking at the industries the logging stuff I was like okay all right there's quite a few logging roads, and I'll show you some some uh, some map stuff here in just a minute. Hey, Kevin McCurry, thank you there, man, for the $10 super chat, buddy. Appreciate it, man. As always, man. Yeah, we'll do some more McNuggies. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll try to get some more and stuff in there. GM, thank you, bud. Black Donalds, what's up, bud? Good to see you guys. Boss Life, what's up? 
<laughs> yeah, the 3DSW, I know. Yeah, well, I know, we're back. <laughs> you know, I, you know, that's kind of the thing, I, you know, uh, uh, Texas truckers saying, you know, what about driving it during the winter? I actually probably will enjoy, uh, you know, especially in those winter months, actually putting the uh, the winter mod on for Montana. It feels weird to drive this in this kind of perfect summer scape, you know. I think that's the one thing I maybe I've always missed from SES maps is that we didn't have that fall and that winter version. Obviously, he does a pretty good job with it. Grimes does, but um, from a mod perspective. But it would be nice if SES were able to, like, encapsulate some seasonal change in, inside the inside the sim. Um, I don't know. It's all, It always is better when you've got the actual devs working through it and I don't know. That would be pretty awesome to be driving through here. Roads just be pretty much impassable because you couldn't get up them. That'd be nice, man. <laughs> be really nice. We're looking for Montana map. Yeah, man. It's it's a good map. It's a good map, Black Dog. Um, man, I did I did hear that. Just tell me about that, man. It'd be good, man. There's some some guys doing some good work, man. We've got a lot of updates and stuff from Root as well. So, uh, Ghost Trucker, we're going video drop tomorrow. At least that's my plan. And um, and because I'm basically going to be busy all day tomorrow, so I'm going to try to do what I can tonight uh, after we get done streaming and, and uh, put that video together. And then after that, try to get live early this week. So Monday would be my goal, Monday or Tuesday. This thing comes out on Thursday, and I just want to kind of hit the high spots, but I don't want to. I don't want to spend time, you know, like completely just, you know, obliterating this map to death. Hey! Hey, B9 bot, thank you there, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Thank you there for ten dollars. Got the preview. I know, man. I know. So shout out to them, man. I'm thankful they uh, they they bestowed their uh, gifts from the heavens above of the uh, <laughs> of the software software keys for Steam Steam keys for uh, Montana. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you there, Ghost. And Ghost also got 50 in so uh, in our donate pile here for some giveaways for DLC stuff. So y'all make sure once we get cranked up here, August the 4th is when this drops. So it's Thursday. Probably it'll be a midday drop for most of the guys in the States. It'll be like, a, I guess, afternoon drop for the Europeans. Uh, whenever we we'll go live Thursday, and then we'll give some of these things away. So if you want to, you know, before you buy it, if you want to, you know, try your luck at some randomized uh some randomized giveaways we'll see if those things still work <laughs> we'll see <laughs> still a member 33 months appreciate it man <laughs> yeah there are a bunch of new loads especially on the heavy side the heavy side's got a lot of new stuff and we've got fuel tankers now for 145 so if you like uh, you got dry bulk uh, we've got fuel we've got food grade tanks uh now so we've got three of those so if you haven't seen, I actually thought about putting one on here, but I was like, nah, I haven't really hauled a good challenging load for, I haven't hauled one of them in a while. <laughs> All right, 25 miles, we're going to be going into Great Falls. So we'll, um, Y'all just uh, y'all hold tight, and then we'll uh, we'll drop off here. And, uh, an Aussie stream, yeah. We'll, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Typically, every time I do Aussie stuff, nobody watches it, even though the trucks are are really nice. Hey, what's up, Glenn? Well, it might be a little early birthday. Uh, yeah, I do have one, Zach, but I don't need it for this. Fire for Sims and Gaming. What's up, man? Babyface, no mods. No mods today, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. They did do the step deck. You're right there, Pete. I forgot about that one. That's kind of a little sneaky one there. Yeah, no mods for that one, just mainly because this is all uh, this is all SES stuff here with the map. So we're kind of displaying everything that Montana is and... 
just helps to not have any other mods and like skybox mods and other stuff you know that people that maybe don't have all that stuff will look at it and be like oh my god my game's gonna look like that if i buy the map and then they get it and they don't then they're salty and start complaining so that's the skinny on why we don't it just really kind of makes you feel like you're like driving back on tmp with traffic except there's no trucks around you and then you realize that you're all out here all alone nobody nobody's here to ride it's it kind of weird Yes, yeah, we have early access, yep. Early access for Montana DLC. So what you're seeing uh, is going to be released on Thursday. So you'll have this if you put it on your Steam. And actually, I've got a link in the description. So if you want to put that, um, at least it should be there. I had to restart the stream, so hopefully it's still up there. But anyway, you can add it to your Steam wish list, and then you'll get notified email and, and Steam whenever, it, uh, whenever that sucker gets ready to roll out. So... Um, I don't, you know, I, maybe eventually they will, uh, Nathan. I don't know that if their map goes that, f does it go that far over? I guess it does. But I would imagine they probably would. It might, it might be future development whenever they, you know, figure out where all the connect roads could be. Hey, what's up, Tron Deja? Marcia Jones, Hello. Yeah, and the Load King. See, Louisiana, man, dude, there's a lot of stuff, man. It's a lot of stuff. Andrew, what's up, man? 54 bucks, man. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. Hope you and the fam are doing well. You got any more kids? <laughs> I think y'all were up to, I think you had, no, I think you had two last time I checked. Y'all add any more? Y'all still, y'all still, y'all hanging there. <laughs> well, I remember when I met Andrew, he was just like, "Yeah, I'm just staying awake. Got, the, got the baby here. <laughs> just chilling." <laughs> Those uh, late night dad ones. Just the one. All right, man. All right. <laughs> um, new gamer. It's um, maybe just the topper is it's the same base um that i had before it's just uh i do have a new topper on it there um so zach i have a link in the description for uh asp simulations uh products uh they're the ones that i got this box from and actually they're just doing a new one they called it the road king so it's actually got flip up two-way switches now since uh, ats is or since ses is adding some of that functionality to that Such a such a weird discrepancy on the outdoor sounds versus the indoor. It's very weird. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I got the chrome top to match and then the Eaton medallion. <laughs> it's a new gamer. I don't, we, we really don't, I don't really care. I actually like reading in, in caps for the most part. <laughs> no, I didn't drop the glitter one. It was the other one. That's why that I got, that's why I got a new one. The glitter one, I just, I just unscrewed it and took it off. <laughs> yeah, Jason. Yeah, I'll, um, so let me get this one parked off here. So we're coming into um, backside of Great Falls here. Um, we'll, uh, you guys think about, I say think about, <laughs> we'll look at the map. We'll figure out where we'll go next. I'll let you guys choose, man. Hey, what's up, the man above? How are you, buddy? <laughs> well, thanks, man. appreciate the kind words, man. Go ahead and sneak through here. Here we go. Another thing you know, I'll hardly ever see me in is, uh, day cap. Got soccer fields on the left. Another welcome back to Montana sign. They're all over the map. It's kind of weird. I actually think those probably shouldn't be there. Maybe they got loaded in. I don't know. 
the tunnel like welcome to my uh, montana signs we've passed like six and i don't know if y'all have noticed them or not <laughs> oh jim everything's stock tonight man this is just the king of the hill everything's stock y'all y'all didn't even y'all didn't even get on me for not having my beacons on me i'm falling on the job i did wreck this son of a gun trying to get out of the parking lot kale's jinxed it All right, so we'll drop off here. We'll grab us one other here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all got me on that one, man. <laughs> Your body in the van. Well, yeah, it's all right, man. It, it's, it's, it's a part of it, Jay. It happens. Just embrace it. Just embrace it. It's fine. It's fine. Well, it going? Well, I was about to say, is it going to let me have it? It did. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Alex. That'll be nice. Yeah. I need to, I do need to hit them up over there. Talk to him. All right, so here is the Montana map. So if you didn't catch the beginning, so we we kind of we kind of squipped through Missoula. Now what I was saying earlier um, was that the cities in Montana feel more like service roads, and um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I just feel like typically in really bigger cities that are, um, you know, obviously you're kind of city centers and stuff. Um, you're gonna have service roads to businesses that are all kind of with there just for just for traffic and and for unloading and loading docking and all that other industrial type stuff but anyway um there's a there's just a lot of a, a lot of that kind of feel in here so i kind of think about almost like new mexico so you have these really nice interstate off ramps and then you basically have one kind of service road that comes through kicks out and then throws you back on the interstate so um you know i, I mean even in the map it's kind of true to that even though obviously there's a lot of roads inside of, of wyoming that aren't modeled here it's the ideas there so um but uh you know like even if you took over here to washington and look at through some of these in kennewick you have all these just networks of roads that kind of go all in and around the interstate that you actually want to kind of go into um the same way with like portland and all of these kind of had these 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 areas where you had this this kind of conglomeration of all this stuff not like that on the other side um, a little different out here. So for those that are, and you can even see it right here in Billings. You do have the kind of this area over here, which I don't know. It kind of looks like it might be some kind of, a, they might have some expansion coming for this when they add roads. Because it kind of just abruptly stops in here, which is kind of weird. But um, and especially even right here. But anyway, you can kind of see how they have this, this service uh, road area kind of picked out. You've got all your big service stuff, fuel stations. You've got all your garages, the Bushnell Farms, and all of this stuff. Big, huge um, uh, truck stops here on the side as well as um, these one over here. So, But anyway, that's just kind of – all of the cities kind of match the same exact stuff. So uh, thank you there, Mr. Worldwide007, for 37 months, man. It has been a while. It's only a little three months over there. So, But it's good. It's good. I hope you're, uh, I hope you're doing well, man. Z, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. They did. I think they did step up their map game. It's it's a lot of road. Uh, there's definitely room for more internals, but I mean, I think from it's kind of like Wyoming. You've got the main thoroughfare of interstate, um, and then you also the thing I like about it is you have these continuation of roads that we've been driving on for like ages. So uh, I spoke earlier about the 93. Let me find it. I think it's over here. Yeah, here you go. So. You could um, ineffectively start the 93 goes all the way south to right here. So the 93 effectively starts here on the north side of Phoenix. And you can go Phoenix and it comes all the way up through Pioche, Eli, or Ellie, I can't remember, Jackpot, Twin Falls, Ketchum, Salmon, Missoula, and then Kalispell. So... Like you can, to me, I don't know. There's just a part of that being able to ride that same exact like the road to Highway 93, and then be able to traverse like three or four states with it. I think that kind of stuff is pretty cool. 
Um, and one really, if you didn't, I mean, honestly, if you didn't think, I mean, there's a lot of map. If you look at that, that's all SES map, and that's a lot of road. So I, I would hope, and I don't think it's going to, but I would hope this would spur a lot more people to get involved with TMP. I think TMP is probably going to be dropping. I hope they're going to be continuing to improve their service to kind of combat with um, with the SES Convoy just because it is good. Um, but there's also new things on Convoy mode, which we'll try to cover here in the next couple of weeks as well. But, uh, but yeah, where, uh, where do you guys want to go? I mean, uh, I have to say this area up here is going to be for tomorrow's video, so we're not going to go up here tomorrow. Um, but you will like that. Um, I can pretty much go. We did say Missoula. So let me, uh, let me quickly, uh, let's go down to Missoula. Because someone had already asked if we could go down there and check that out. So I'll dev console real quick. Um, and then if you guys want to see that. So here's kind of that service road area. Scared me. Thing in there, Mr. Fabsy. Yeah, man. Thank you there, buddy. Appreciate that, man. First gear member. As always, man. Thank you, guys. So you got all the big uh, truck stops and stuff over here. You got one on the right, one on the left. You got shops. You got all the service. You got three service stations in Missoula. Um, but uh, let me get back up here to the main. The main. Uh, it's getting a little bit. Getting a little bit dark on us here, but we'll, uh, we'll go over through with this. Hey, May. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, so once you once you cross through, you basically have this 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 center area. I mean, for Missoula, is actually a pretty big place, and then you kind of have this one little cut through, and it really feels like a service road. That's why I said like all the all the areas in here kind of have that that general feel, and then you just keep on snaking right around. And there's no businesses at off here, so um, you know, there's only a few places to pick up. It's almost like a stop through. But you do have this really kind of crazy downtown area, which, I, you know, I'm not saying that this is bad. It's just um, it's kind of crazy that, you know, you're taking your 18-wheeler through here. But everything, they did do a really good job of actually not just putting just random stuff in here. Like, if you go look up at the Missoula County Courthouse, it looks just like that. So I think that kind of stuff is really cool. There's some more monuments and some other things in the national parks that they did and modeled exactly the same as they are at IRL. Um, but I think that's really cool. But it's just a road. It's just a scenic road to take through. It's nothing but stoplight, stop and go. Uh, you can't go right. You can't go left till you get to the very end. And then uh, stop over here at the Pizza House where you can get over here at the Taco Kingdom, Dream Burger, grab you something, Prime Rib Steakhouse, and then you're back on the interstate. So pretty good. So it's uh, it's nice. Nice, uh, nice little areas here. We don't see a lot of this stuff in America, the whole, uh, the whole roundabouts and stuff. That's definitely a European thing. Trying to make some inroad to to being over here in the states, but we haven't fully adopted that yet. So <laughs> we're still hanging on by a thread. So, uh, but yeah. Um, all right. So there's that in Missoula's, and then you'll find the same thing through Butte, Bozeman, Billings. They're all exactly the same. Um, they all, I know, I'll say exactly the same, but they have the same feel. Come right off the interstate, you got that one major service through that goes through the town, goes through the city, and then pops you right back up on the interstate. So. Um, all right, is there anywhere? Joe Panico, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Uh, so actually, there was one logging road. Actually, I think in here uh, that we missed. Yeah, let me keep going. Yeah, all right, so here is coming across. So this is the Highway 200. So you've got the big, you got the big logging depot over here. So right there is the deep grove there, and it's uh, it's obviously large and in charge. And then we'll get through, and then it's not like a, it's not like Bellingham, but this is just one of them. But you can kind of see where we're where we're going here. And then it gets pretty deep, gets pretty thick. You're not going to want to be, you know. I, I do think for the loggers out there that want to have that that feel, this would be pretty cool. I'm gonna do a little a little zoom up here so you guys can see the the road. But nice elevation change, all the switchbacks and stuff, manageable. And then it puts you up right here on top of the map, grab your load, and then you come out the other side. You actually have 
an own and a and a and an exit out. So, which is pretty cool. And then this will take you back around and snake you back out the road. And so this is just one of them, but there's a lot of these uh, sprinkled out throughout the map. So you'll find them uh, in, uh, let's see, Missoula. And I want to say there's a couple over here. Let's see. Hang on. Michael, uh, this is one of the mining roads there coming at the NAMIC. That one's pretty cool. Um, I want to say there's some up here up north. Mm, that one's cool up there in NAMIC. I'm not going to – I'm going to show some of this stuff later. <laughs> I don't want to blow it all tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but there mining is uh pretty much all on the west side and your logging stuff's gonna be pretty much on this side um some of these right here are really cool coming out of bozeman and then of course you've got you know uh leading out of idaho falls um let's see where is it at there's like there's like three on this side there's that one right there in missoula okay here's one yeah yeah so thompson falls you got this one up north this one's just a quick side, uh, just a side place. So one of these is like the sawmill, and one's the processor. It's kind of like the, the way they were over in um, Bellingham. And then there's another logging depot, but those those aren't crazy roads. Maybe it was a secret road up through here. I want to say there's a, there's a place up north. Anyway, I'll find it. I'll, I'll kind of show some of that stuff this week as we get in there. But there's a lot more of that than there was in some of the other maps that we had. So 93 south of Missoula. Yes, we can do that. Um, I think we've already got Missoula pinned, so let me see if we can find anywhere going south. <clears throat> um, let's see. I mean, if we just have to, like, you know, just haul something. <laughs> Billings to Sydney. That's not a bad one. Sydney's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little flat. There we go. We, we could do this one just to say we did it i won't go all the way down to catch them we'll just stop in salmon how about that and then i'll cancel it out and we'll see where we're at on time wise because you got to remember i've got uh i got all right Um, so I'm not sure where 90 stops, Henry. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it stops or if it does. Side east. I mean, I know it does. If you're talking about Montana, yes, it goes all the way across. Hey, Jay Allen. What's up, man? Let's see if we can stop the rain. I think we can stop the rain. All right, so we're carrying one of these turbines. All right, so we're going to head out. We are going we'll to head on to the 93. So this actually, this 93 down is a really good little route. Uh, we'll stop in Salmon. <laughs> Nether Road gets stuck on. Shut up, see, baby. Big Country, what's up, man? What's up, Clint? The myth go back as a legend. I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know if uh, any myths have, have become legend, but I appreciate it. Uh, where's my map? I think we got to turn right there. Nope. One more. And it's already getting dark on us, too. Let's go ahead. That's uh, actually why I'm at it. We'll just change this back to... <laughs> I did make it out of the lot, man. Y'all ain't gonna let me... Y'all ain't gonna let me forget nothing. Big Dub, I'm not exactly sure to be honest with you. I know, I know. Uh, 
Thompson's got two and Missoula's got two. They've got like the sawmill and then the processor. Um, but I'm not sure if they, uh, I'm not sure if any of them have three. I know there's about four or five different logging places on the west side of the state. And then the east side is essentially mining. They've kind of split it up into two. So what you don't get, you know, uh, logging side, you'll get on the mining. They're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you must carry the majestic beard. I will tell you what, I, I had to let it go. Honestly, like, I haven't really cut it much since last time. I let it go for about two or three, I mean, probably like a month, month and a half. And then I, I then I just kind of, like, angled it just because I, I needed to cut it uh, because it was starting to rest on all my collared shirts. And then it would look stupid. Then, like, had this big old, like, ruffle in it. And I was like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> so. But anyway, I finally trimmed it up like today. I was like, well, I'm going to be streaming live. I might want to trim up and look good for all the gentlemen out there. <laughs> Ooh. Everybody just got weird. New Jersey. All right. What's up, JP Productions? Good to see you, man. So I'm trying to keep the volume down. It's such, such a discrepancy between the outside and inside. It's so loud. Well, that, that station wagon there just about died. There's just a little halfway, uh, little halfway leaving out of Missoula here, so. Get to see a little bit more of the complexities of uh, of the roads here, not to mention, it's pretty cool having the uh, train tracks go through diagonally like that. It's kind of cool. Well, this will actually get to see a little bit of the, the kind of the forestry, kind of the, the kind of the what they're going for on some of this. We're on the south end of Montana, so we really haven't gotten to the um, to the the more mountainous areas. That's on the north side, up on the um, Idaho and Washington and Canadian border. That's where a lot of that stuff is. So I'll show you that uh, stuff tomorrow in a video. Willie Christian, what's up, man? Good to see you. Gerald as well. Hello, hello, Jersey. Heavy Hall, good to see you, man. <laughs> Clint's off to, off to shower. Uh, I don't know, little machine. I don't know. I mean, typically, they don't do both at the same time they usually get uh, a version update and that either have truck or trailers in it and then we'll get a DLC and they'll set whatever they need to up for it so I would expect new truck might come for Texas I don't know it's gonna be for Montana that that would be my that would be my guess so all right here's another one of those buildings one of these banks and stuff over here. So these, you'll see a lot of new buildings up here. A lot of new, uh, a lot of new stuff. And I think, yeah, here we go. Driverse. So here's the other one. So this has got, you see the McDonald's. It's obviously what that dream burger is. It's on the side of a, it's on the side of a, um, whatchamacallit. But yes, this Driverse is like your, it's, it's the last one of the like truck stop changeovers. And they're pretty cool. I gotta admit, man, they did like a slam up job on these. I've always hated Californias and um, some of the rest of those, man. I've always hated how those uh, truck stops are never big enough to do anything, have a convoy in, whatever. These won't have no problems starting them out of Montana or ending them, for that matter. Be nice. Oh, they were saying, well, I haven't, I, honestly, I haven't really heard much. Uh, I mean, this was probably one of the bigger things on the radar. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe they do. Maybe they do. I mean, nobody will, uh, nobody will enjoy it. <laughs> Be another one to build up and.
Yeah, I know. that They said late 2022 on Texas. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. 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 I don't know. Bitterroot River? There you go. I like the I like the the customizing the the all of the river stuff the the nature stuff with like the real th the real thing. I'm a, I'm actually glad they did that instead of calling it some kind of like crazy name because they couldn't you know I don't know if there's any copyright in that stuff. Obviously there's not. It's all nature stuff. But but still I, I'm at least appreciative that they tried to create and keep some of those nature things, especially the rivers, bridges monuments some of those kind of cool things i'm glad they were able to keep all that stuff in the game i think that brings a little extra uh a little bit extra to it there that we didn't have hey you know at least for most of these just i don't know just because it's kind of it'd be kind of weird to be rolling across all this stuff knowing that you live in montana none of it's actually called what it what it is you know <laughs> it's be weird I look like Chris Stapleton. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, that is, if you think Chris Stapleton's a good guy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I mean, Triple R, I kind of said that before. I don't know if I necessarily will go with that. Um, I, I think they're probably, at this point, got to do Texas. They've already teased it, and then they dropped Montana. Which, by the way, I would actually say that I was right on that. There's a whole group of us here in the Discord that actually coined and said that Montana would come out before Texas would because it just made sense. And I don't know if they listened, but, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Pretty cool. Oh, I am not. Yeah, I am negative. Negative on the braid bearding. Uh, wait a minute, beard braiding. Yeah, that, that would not be happening. So we are uh, head south on the 93, coming out of Missoula, Montana. We are headed down to Salmon, Idaho. So you'll start to see how things, you'll start to see how things kind of actually start looking like Idaho here in a minute. <clears throat> it's a nice blend into the state. So let's see, let's get back to it. What about that one? Oh, no big dub. Yeah. Animation stuff would be kind of nice. I mean, I get why they don't do it, but I guess if you really wanted to go do that, you could just do it on uh, what you might call it. It's the one you could do that on uh, Farm Sim. Uh, hail me the um, so the those will release on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, the release on Thursday. <laughs> well, it, it's kind of weird because like everything that they have, like I'm just gonna pull up the map real quick while we're on this. So. Yeah, everything into Texas, yeah, there's really nothing besides New Mexico. You you could at least do there's a nice thunder. Well, if if the stream goes dark here in a, in a minute, that's why I went thunderstorms all night. Uh, but anyway, Colorado, you could, but you'd have to sneak it through Lamar and and just at least piece through Oklahoma. They still could do a connector road. I mean, it looks like you've got two right here. So you've got this, maybe that you pull something off here. If not, you're coming out of Lamar, you're coming out of Ratton. Uh, that's the only two things you can go. Obviously, Tecum, Kari, Clovis, and Hobbs are going to be connectors into Texas. But, I mean, that, that's the only other way you can go. The only thing that kind of makes Texas hard is the fact that you have this right here. So, you know, I don't know. It looks like what they got something down there on Texas. So we've, we've got something down in Hobbs. They've gotten something down there right now. <gasps> I don't want to spoil it though. <laughs> hey, coffee? I like that's the over easy time of a guy. <laughs> well, that one of your kids and I know who ZZ Top is and know the people from them. That's hilarious. 
Tell, ask him. What, I don't know whether or not to take that as a compliment or I'll, I'll, I'll blush and nod my head. What's up, JD Ray? Yeah, man. Well, I've been a little break, man. IRL, dude. Just ran out of hours in the day. So Montana comes out on the 4th, August the 4th. <laughs> Good music from you. Fair enough, man. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much the whole eastern side DVD is like this. Yeah. It's very nice. Steve, you, what, what advice do I have to anyone wanting to do it? So you got to pick out what you want to do and you got to stick with it. There's so many people creating content. Being variety is really hard. Um, the main thing is don't just do what you do just to fill out a... Um, you know, fill out a, a just a desire to be a streamer or whatever. Do it. Try to try to pick something that you can continue to do because you just enjoy doing it. And at least that at least keeps you sane. You know what I mean? Thank you, there, JD Ray. Appreciate it, man. Um, yeah, I've heard the rumors on that that he had that for for because uh, I can't remember what his other N14 was. It was kind of the Euro. Everyone didn't like the he didn't like the uh, they didn't like the stacks and stuff on it. So. Is that uh, Giordane? Giordan? Giordan. Duarte. Thank you there. Hey! Love chat in the chat. What's up, love chat? Just kidding. All right, so I'm going to stop it there because we're in Idaho now. <clears throat> All right, so let me show you. Let's see. What, what can I do here? Let's, let's, um, I want to show you more of that, but I'm going to wait because I'm not going to spoil it. Let's look. Um, let's come out of, yeah, let's come out of Jackson. We'll dev. We'll do a little dev. How about that? We'll do a little dev console for y'all, and we'll, um, because I'm looking at time here. I don't want to go too long because I want people to watch this later. At least uh, kind of thumb through and be able to pick out a few places. So um, let's pull the map up a little bigger here. All right. So y'all remember this. This is all Wyoming stuff here. So let's go over here, which we didn't have before. The 191. All right. So. All right. So, yeah. So from here on. National Museum of Wildlife Art. All right. Grand Tetons. All right, so I think, if I'm not mistaken, this part right here is, was there. So it cycles up to the 26. Is that right? I'll make sure I'm not telling you guys something wrong. Because <laughs> I probably am. Yeah, this was all there before, and everybody's like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what about quitting job full time? Woo, just stick to it. Um, so quitting job, I would say that's probably I would have to say a hard pass um, because you don't know whether or not. I mean, some people do it, um, but those are typically girls that do that, and all they have to do is just flash some skin, and um, and people will pay them money on Twitch. Um, men don't have that option. We have to have actual content and have a reason for people to follow us. And it takes time to develop, report, and it takes time to do that stuff. I'm going to tell you, I didn't make any money in YouTube for the first, like, two and a half years. Like, I didn't make anything. So if you can live off what you have now for two years, maybe a year, um, then go for it. And I still don't make, like, I mean, the most, vast majority of mine are made from donations. Um, it's not from actual video views. But that's just me. That's how I have to do it. If I can make videos and actually do the other content, who knows? You know. I like this. This is one of my favorite spots coming up here. So this is the southern part coming out of Wyoming. This is still you're looking at the Tetons. We're just further around the river. <laughs> I say river, but we're just further around the lake. All right. We'll keep pressing. So right here is where a lot of this stuff uh, – uh, shuts down out of Wyoming. So we'll keep going now that we've got the roads for it. 
You got all the little park areas here, Yellowstone. You can hang a right, go down through all of that. You'll see there's the Snake River Picnic Hall. All these have like people at them too, which is kind of fun. It's fun to see it once, and then after it's kind of like, okay, all right. All right, so we'll do this a little bit here. So here's part of this. And I'm not going to dev this whole entire road, but you get the idea. Anybody know what that is? Pretty realistic looking. I mean, if you look at Google Earth, it's pretty close. It's got a lot of the same uh, same stuff on it. <laughs> we'll make a left here, and then, yeah, there we go. So you got more park interest. So basically this whole entire this whole entire um, park coming out of Jackson, like going all the way up into here, like all of this is all park stuff, every bit of it. Um, even because, you know, if you go from Jackson and then, and then you go over to Cody, there's all that really nice elevation change and all that climbing and stuff up there. But it's really nice coming out of Jackson to Bozeman. Like that is one of the prettiest drives, you know, on ATS, at least on this section right here. Because pretty much we've just left out of where Wyoming left off, and then this is where uh, Montana picks up. It is pretty nice. And this is where you'll start to see some of that elevation change stuff. I love all the signs, man. They did such a good job on signs. There's so many signs on the roads now. You almost can navigate if you actually really knew where you were going. You could navigate by the road signs. They're actually legit. Hey, Tech. You unsubbed. Shame on you. it! Must have thought something happened. Hey, what's up, Gerald? Oh, I said that. In Missoula. We just did Missoula. Here's another one where they got the rivers and everything off the side of you. I like that, man. There's a bunch of bunch of roads here on the south and the east side like that. And you kind of get to cross up with those little rivers and ride with them for at least a good a good bit of the way. I was hoping, uh, I think there's a monument. I can't remember exactly where it's at. I think it's on that northwest side. I was going to show you all one of the monuments, but... But yeah, it's good stuff, man. You got water flows flowing out of the hills there. Nice white water coming across there. Look at that, man. It's good stuff, man. It's um, you know, there's uh the road itself is fine. Um, you know, it's got all the things that you want from these maps. Um, but by far the best part is, man, it's just like like coming out here. This is what SES has always struggled for me, is always struggled to have this this kind of expansive view. And what I feel like we've always get is this right here. We get a hill and a bunch of trees. Because, I mean, obviously there's some where you have to, like, block out something. You know, you got to block out some of the, the sidelines. you got to block out some. Even though there's, like, good scenery over there, you don't really see it because the trees kind of 2D, like, just kind of, like, you know, get up and wall it. But if you turn to the right, this is what you'll find a lot in Wyoming is this right here, that kind of view. And I just think that's, I mean, for most of this map, especially on the whole eastern side, it's really, really like a lot of that. Um, it's just, um, it's just, it just kind of is, it has this whole new map feel that says that, hey, we're, we, we, we weren't made by SES like three years ago. Like, it's something that feels a good bit. I'm going to go over here to Laurel, and I'm just going to quickly show you guys some of the other part of the state. Now, see, this is where some people will love this, and some people will hate this kind of stuff. Like, it's a lot of straight flat. It's pretty, but it's just long and straight and flat. Some curves here and there, but it's pretty much 75, 80 miles an hour once you throw it down. And there's the 90 goes through Billings. Here's the service roads. Pretty big city. You can't drive through all of it. Obviously, a lot of it's just there for just backdrop scenery. Um, but nonetheless, it's really, really good. Big old huge uh, industries down here. Your truck stops. That's a huge, that's just one truck stop right there. So, uh, and they usually have them. Yep, they have them matching on both sides of the road now. So what you have on one, you'll have it on the other. So I'm meeting one of those awkward uh, 
road crossings and road changes for convoys and stuff. But anyway, like just 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 zipping up the ninety four here, like this is just it's just easy going, long and straight, and it almost kind of starts getting like deserty feeling. <laughs> Flashbacks to Arizona. <laughs> oh, here's the ton of meeting points for those. So, yep, yeah, lot lot of these, lot of these. But once you get out of, uh, yeah, and I mean we're moving. I mean we're moving on Def Console. We are moving. Oh, left turn. Long straight road. Oh, long straight road. Oh, long straight. Yeah, you get the idea. And I mean, that's pretty much like, that's that's just flat out. <laughs> that's flat out. So anyway, some people will like that. They won't care either way. It'll be new roads. It'll look different. It'll be something that's new. And then some people will hate it. So I will be one of those that hate it. And it's not because it's not good. It's just, I just, it's hard enough to keep, drive the trucks, much less drive them straight. I find it's easier to drive when I'm, when it's actually a, you know, complicated road. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. What's up, John? <laughs> <laughs> oh it's pretty good so yeah I've pretty much this whole road right here from sydney all the way down into billings like things finally start kind of picking back up to some normalcy um like once you get back into billings it kind of starts getting busy again um uh but uh the 59 out of gillette is pretty nice but it's kind of the same thing um the only difference in like and this is where i think i get like i don't know this is where for me i get i get uh, what's the word I want to look for? What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the part that I get like anxious over because you get on these roads and you finally get up to speed and you're and you're and you're driving out of you know Gillette and then you got slam on a brake and make a right turn. Then once you finally get up, you get everything going, you get get run up, you get to slam on a brake and make a left turn. And like these constant, like you only go left turn, then you got to stop. And it's just constant stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. So even on the highways, like for those, it's a little bit redundant. It kind of gets a little bit old. But I'm kind of curious if that's just not where they've stopped and they're going to space out where you're going to have another road. It's going to take you right, and then you'll be in South Dakota. Because uh, this is North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska right here. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of anxious to see what they do with that. But it just, it, 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 it gets on my nerves. Uh, that's all I can say. <laughs> it just gets on my nerves seeing those in these maps. But I get it. It is what it is. Uh, 89 is a good way. So, anyway, what we'll do tomorrow, I'm going to look. Uh, hopefully, you guys will be able to see um, this little uh, – we're going to pull out a county spell, and then I'm going to show you the Glacier National Park tomorrow in the video. Uh, so, make sure you guys uh, check that out tomorrow. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up – tomorrow night will be gone. Uh, and then Monday and then Tuesday, uh, so this comes out Thursday. So I'm going to try to at least do another one uh, here at the beginning of the week. So Monday or Tuesday we'll be live again. I'll schedule it up nice and early so that way if you guys want to come check it out. Um, I will go in and tell you, though, put this one on your wish list, even if you don't buy it on the 4th. This is going to definitely be worth it, and I think uh, everybody is going to thoroughly enjoy this one. Um, it is a very vast map, a lot of four-lane a lot of fast driving, uh, but also some technical stuff as well. So it's kind of got a little bit of everything, uh, depending on what your driving style is. And uh, definitely use that link down in the description. You go ahead and go ahead and put that up on your, um, go ahead and put that on your wish list, and that way you get notified when that thing comes out on the fourth, which will be Thursday. So, uh, so yeah. So hey, what's up there, Tech? Thank you, man. Resub it up there at first gear. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> yeah, the next one. What's up, World Gaming? How are you, man? Good to uh, see everybody. So that's where we'll that's where we'll pull it up tonight. Hey, I missed something from XJ, man. Oh, it's not XJ. Now he must have popped in and said, "Hey, I totally missed it." So, uh, but anyway, it's a really really good map. So you guys make sure you put that on your wish list, and then we'll check out uh, at least another day here. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try to get something going. I don't know how quick MP will be up with this. Um, someone was asking about, uh, ProMods Canada, if they're going to connect down into this. I have no idea, um, whether or not they're going to connect down into Montana. My assumption would be that they would, 
the only question is, is where exactly are they going to do it? And does it make sense? Havre would be the only place. Sandpoint would be the only other logical place for them to, to, to get in there. But um, I have no idea. So I have no clue whether or not. So don't ask. Um, and other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, we'll just carry on throughout the rest of the week. So uh, big shout outs tonight. So <laughs> yeah, you missed pretty much the whole thing, Bull. <laughs> It's uh, it, it'll be it'll be a good one though to to replay. It's uh, we did a little driving here, um, and uh, through Thompson Falls, come up 15 through Helena, and um, and then Great Falls, and then we're gonna do video tomorrow, and then something else. But I got some people I gotta thank because there was a lot of people, uh, they showed up tonight. So let me see if I can let me pull subs off, and is this it? All right, let me figure out where we're at. So. Oh, gosh, man. All right, so here we go. Uh, so John Althorn got us. No, Mickey Mouse got us. Uh, got us. Got us all rear backup. Got us uh, started out tonight. It's Ghost Trucker got a fifty dollars in there for giveaways. So that is earmarked for giveaways. So Thursday we will be streaming, um, and then we will be giving away a couple copies of that. So depending on how much they are, we might be able to at least give away three of those out of that 50. If they're, you know, roughly 14, if they're 11, we might be able to do three or four. Um, so we'll, those are totally randomized through stream elements. So if you guys want to try to maybe win it before you go buy it, well, show up Thursday, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, Lyrica 300 there. Thanks for the two. Ace of Spades is where, uh, as well, man. Thank you there for your super chat. Speeder for the big one for the night, man. A huge, humongous super chat. Thanks as always, Speeder. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, that will definitely repair the stop sign. That's hilarious, man. Ryan, always good to see you, Ryan. Thanks for stopping in and saying, hey, man. Uh, Papa Rocks there, man. Another big super chat as well, man. Another big supporter, man, uh, of the stream as always has been. Thank you very much. Mr. Fapsy, man, nine, uh, a $20 super chat as well as cruise control membership. Uh, well, actually, no, first gear memberships. Husky resubbed up. Uh, Chris H. Man for Super and Kevin B9 Bot. Thank you guys. Clixie. Uh, JD Ray there for $2. Man Tech for uh, resubbing up there and resubbing on the first gear, man. So thanks, man. Appreciate it. As always, you guys, man, we killed it. Uh, Bike Man's here. What's that? Oh, <laughs> we do have Bert and Ernie. <laughs> there you go, Scott. That's hilarious, man. <laughs> Uh, am I going to upgrade to the 4090? I don't think so, Mark. I'd, I mean, I don't see how the 40s go. I mean, really, right now, the 30s are... The only reason I'd want the 40s is for flight sim. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, for everything else we do, 30s are more than fine. And thank you there again, man. Appreciate the... Uh, what do they call those? Super modes. I almost forgot what they're called there, Ace. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Uh, as always, I will... Uh, thank you. Thank you, Henry. Appreciate it, man. I will... Um, uh, we'll be back in tomorrow. I'll have a video up for you guys, and then we'll uh, we'll get some more streams, uh, at least up on the books here this week. We get Montana out, and then we'll see what else uh, everyone gets on the hype train to the, to uh, to save for Texas, which I hope I hope is not too soon. Y'all don't ask about Texas until Montana at least comes out. All right, so absolutely, man. It's good good to say, good to see everybody. Uh, it was good to be live again, man. It was good to uh, connect with a lot of familiar names uh, on chat, man. I feel like some of you guys, I probably know y'all better than I should, which does give me cause of concern. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. You guys take it easy, man. I'm, I didn't even roll my intro, so we'll roll my intro as the outro, and I will see you guys here in a video tomorrow. Um, but you guys take it easy, and I will see you later, guys. Peace.